Senior leader from the Congress party in the state of Karnataka claimed that all castes should uh, have been given participation uh, from each community, whether it's the Lingayat, ST or minority. All should have been made deputy chief minister. It will affect the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. There were various rumours that there could be multiple deputy chief ministers in the state. That was ruled out by the Congress party high command. Harish with us on the broadcast. Harish, we were just talking about it that not just G. Parmeshwara, there are various other leaders who are miffed. There's a lot of them. MB Patel is one of them. He's been camping in Delhi. Uh, he's been, in fact, uh, demanding that he be made the Deputy Chief Minister. Lingats have supported the Congress in a big number this way, uh, this in this election. So they need representation. Uh, as I mentioned, Muniapa also there. So clearly, uh, everyone believed that the Congress would create at least four Deputy Chief Ministers. Uh, one would go to Wakaliga if uh, uh, DK became uh, Deputy Chief Minister. Uh, there would be one minority candidate, one Lingayat. And possibly a Dalit candidate would be the fourth uh, deputy chief minister post. Uh, all of that has been ruled out. Uh, Zamir Ahmed Khan was another person uh, who was hoping that he would become the deputy chief minister. That hasn't happened as well. Uh, clearly, all of them have to be accommodated in the cabinet now, and all of them would seek uh, a, a heavy duty portfolio, an uh, important portfolio, but you don't have too many of them. Uh, the chief minister usually keeps uh, the finance portfolio with him. He'll also have uh, intelligence uh, from the Home Ministry under him and DPR and similar such important strategic ministries would be under the chief minister. So you will be left with, say, uh, nearly a dozen important portfolios like the ones of uh, Water Resource Ministry, uh, Power Ministry, Social Welfare, all these are the important ones. And uh, perhaps uh, DK Shukumar would keep at least two or three of them with him. And uh, then you'll have to accommodate the followers of these two leaders. Then comes the chance of other senior leaders. So it's a real uh, challenging task for the Congress High Command to now decide uh, the cabinet berth and the cabinet portfolio allocation. And the cabinet portfolio allocation, there's no power sharing formula. That's what uh, KC Venugopal said. And he also said that the only power sharing uh, that will happen is with the people of Karnataka. But the state of Karnataka is going to be very, very critical, keeping in mind the 2024 Lok Sabha elections and how this particular state election has been a discursive opportunity for the Congress party to once again position themselves as the principal opposition party. Earlier, that position was challenged by the likes of the Aam Aadmi Party, TMC and various other regional satraps. I want to cut across back to Harish, who's with us on the broadcast. Harish, that swearing in that will happen. That will also be a power display for the Congress party and that will be a political spectacle, an important visual in the run up to 2024. Absolutely. Remember last time round when the Congress JDS government uh, came to power in 2018, uh, it was uh, shown as a platform to showcase opposition unity. You had perhaps leaders of 17 different parties on stage that day. and. Uh, Congress this time around once again wants to ensure that that message goes across of opposition unity. Uh, they are trying to invite all chief ministers of various other parties as well. How many of them will turn up uh, is also a question because 2018 was a different ball game. Uh, it was H. T. Kumar Swami who was become, becoming the chief minister. This time around it's a Congress chief minister, it's a Congress government and you al already have uh, parallel uh, uh, negotiations going on of a front without the Congress and uh, the BJP. So there are leaders with, within that particular axis as well. So a lot depends on who all will turn up and uh, this will also be seen as a message on how the 2014 opposition unity uh, campaign is going on, how many of them are with the Congress. So it's also, as you rightly mentioned, this is a subplot to this whole uh, yes. uh, cabinet expansion or uh, swearing in ceremony. Harish Upadhyay getting us all the details and perspective on the story. We track the elections and then the uh, you know chief minister face who's going to be the chief minister. Finally, we have the names after a wait of about four to five days.